I started my ambulance service with a little more than $40,000. This was back in 2016. And so highly, highly recommend purchasing a newer, if not new, then definitely very lightly used ambulance because this is your workhorse, your transportation company. Why would you invest in anything but the best in terms of um, operations? If this unit goes down, you stop making money. So keep that in mind. Of course, you wanna be as savvy as possible in terms of how you use your money, but you want to be just smart about it as well. So mm -hmm. there are certain things I would say to definitely skimp on in terms of how you spend your money, but purchasing an ambulance is not one of them. Yeah. So, but let's say, you know, my service with a little bit more than 40,000, it took Medicare approximately four months to essentially approve my application. And so I didn't begin operating. That's important to know too. Yeah. I did not begin operating until I was fully approved. And so that would be up to you. I would definitely say if your money is limited, you don't want to start operating until you're fully approved approved by Medicare because you have to keep in mind it has to be two people on the ambulance. So even if you're an EMT, um, you're still going to have to, you know, have money to pay your second person on the truck. And so in terms of cost, you're looking at not only your ambulance, you're looking at insurance. You have money available for a down payment for insurance. And then once you put down that down payment, you have to keep in mind you're having to pay that note, that insurance cost or amount every month thereafter to your beginning to be receive income.